hello and welcome back to my youtube channel now in today's video i am going to be teaching you how you can create a fake background for your videos now this is my original background and this is this is the background that i made now this particular background is fake is not real now this is the original one now in this video i'm going to be teaching you how i did that now let's say you are a youtuber and your space is not really that fine you can actually use this method to generate a fake background a realistic fake background so that you can be able to do videos without feeling oh my space is not fine blah 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 or you are a tiktoker and you just want to generate videos in a better space you can actually use this method and this method of generating a fake background takes less than 10 minutes to do and everything you need is on your smartphone you just need your smartphone to be able to do it now the app we are going to be using the two apps we are going to be using for this we are going to be using canva app and we're also going to be using CapCut app now if you are using iphone if you are using um android you can get for iphones you can get these apps on your app store why for android you can get it on play store now after downloading the app all you need to do is to follow this process that i'm going to show you to be able to use the app to generate what you want to generate your fake background and put it on your image now before i show you what how you are going to do that i still want to give you some tips that will help your fake background to look more realistic that will help your video to come out good to come out better now number one tip is this make sure the clothes you are wearing as the color of the cloth you are wearing is not the same with your background if it's the same with the background is going to how like put it is going to confuse the cap cut app because there's a stage we we'll reach when we want to do this where you have to remove the background of your initial video and if you are wearing the same dress as the background it's going to confuse your background so you can either there are two things you can either do you can either just film your film yourself video yourself record yourself on a plain background you can even use green and then make sure the clothes you are wearing is as totally different color from the background you can just film yourself on a, any background or you can get a green background you can buy a green cloth to do this you can get a green background and then use it to film yourself all right so let's get right into how we can create the fake background now the first thing we need to do we need to use canva app the reason we are using canva app is to use it to get our background now you can get background from different places you can get from google you can get from pininterest.com you can get from many places but i prefer CapCut for some reason and one of the reasons is that even CapCut actually helps you to also generate images if you want to generate your own background that's if you want a unique background so let's get right into how we are going to do this so we are going to open our CapCut app now if you want to choose a background for youtube let's say you're a youtuber and you want to choose a background for youtube all you need to do is you click on the plus and then when you click on the plus remember that youtube has remember that youtube has a size a particular size it uses now to get that size all you need to do you can just decide to search for youtube thumbnail you type youtube thumbnail you search for it and then you choose this first one here this first one is your size the size you are going to choose if you are going for youtube now if you want your background to be youtube background size if you are a youtuber of course now you are going to see something like this just hold here and drag it down now we have a blank canvas that we are going to use 
so you can just simply click on the cancel button here click on it and then the next thing you are going to do you click on elements here and then when you click on elements you see this generate your own i hope you are seeing it you see generate your own you can also click on this search elements here and then search for what you want let's say i want office let's say i want office space i want office space kind of background i'm just going to search for it and then i'll go to photos you see a lot of office space background here and please note you cannot really download the background that has this um crown except you are using the um premium version of canva but there are others that you can actually use that don't have the crown that are free and i think they'll really be good for your stuff and please when you are downloading a background please download a background that will look realistic for example don't come and use something like this tea stuff for your background because it's not going to look realistic so let me look for something that looks realistic so let's see something that look realistic I'm still searching. I, I I think I saw one before, but I passed it. So okay, look at this. I'm just going to pick this this one. I'm going to pick it, and then I'm going to drag it so it will fit into the thumbnail. To be exactly the thumbnail size and i'm going to click on this to save my work so i save that image now we are done with saving this i want to pick more than one background so i'm trying to save more than one background so we are done with saving this so i want to delete this so i will bring in another background i want to generate another background so i'm going to cancel it like this so i'm just going to click on elements and then i'm going to click on this to generate my ai background so i'll click on it and the next thing i will do Yeah, I will type office office space white or white office space. And then I'm going to click on generate. So let's see what AI is going to generate for us. Wow, I think I, I really love this. The first one, I think I love it. Let's see how the others are going to look like. Okay. Okay, so I don't know the one we are picking. Let's, let's pick this, let's use this. So I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to drag it to fit the screen. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to save this. 
to my gallery so what i want to do next is to open my cap cut and input the fake background so let's go all right the next thing we are going to do we are going to open our cap cut app now this is my cap cut app all you need to do click on new project now click on new project then go to photos this is photos and then click on any of the background let's use this let's use this so i'm going to click on it and make sure you click on this hd i'll click on it and i'll click on add now i'm just going to click on the background and i'll use this button here to drag it all right so you can decide to drag it to any length your video will be now the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to click on this chord overlay i'll click on it i'll click on add overlay and then i'll click on video and i'll click on my video okay so this is my video so this is the video so i'm just going to I'll, I'll use my hands and place the video properly on top of it it's covering it now the next thing i'm going to do or the next thing we are going to do make sure you are selecting this overlay that's your video and then scroll scroll and look for remove background now remember when i told you about using a green screen now if you use a green screen during recording of your video let's say the back of your stuff is green that's um when i'm talking about green screen you can actually just buy a green material and then place at the back when you want to do a video if you are using a green screen all you need to do is to click on this chroma key and um cap cut is going to remove the screen for uh, sorry the background for you but if you are not using a green screen if you are using a background something like mine you won't use chroma key just use custom remover so let's use the custom remover let me cut my video to this part okay so custom remover now this custom remover you see quick brush brush quick erase erase now if you are using the premium version of cap cut that's when you can actually use the quick brush or quick erase but since you are not using the premium version of cap cut you can use this too and it's going to really it's going to be easy it's going to be easy there will be no difference trust me so what you are going to do you might decide to increase this brush size a bit then concentrate on your image and then brush your image look at what i'm doing i'm just trying to brush the parts where i am okay so watch what he said here is applying custom remove so i'll click ok and i'm just going to wait as you can see it has removed it all i need to do to make this look more realistic is to increase this and then this is what we get at the end of the day it's actually very very easy to do and i can decide to bring in the other backgrounds remember we downloaded about three backgrounds let's check the one that will fit best so this is the other background lastly 
these backgrounds. So to make your backgrounds actually look more realistic, because I think I tried to make this look realistic, but it's not really looking realistic though. But to make your background look more more realistic there's something you can choose to do now this is one of the things you can choose to do number one you can click on your background that's this part click on it and when you click on it make sure this video um this part is aligned as this white stuff is on it then when you click on it you can go to effect and then you choose video effect scroll to this and click on lens now when you click on lens click on this adjust i'm sorry click on this one this blur and then when you click on blur you can just click on the middle and then adjust the blurness and then it's going to look more realistic if it's blocked you can repeat this for all of them you can repeat this for all of them for example for this you can repeat it by clicking on effects clicking on video effects and then you go to you go to lens click on your blur and then reduce the blurness so this is basically how you can use your phone, how you can use CapCut and Canva to create a fake background for your YouTube video. Now you can do this for TikTok, you can do this for YouTube, you can do this for Instagram or whatever platform that you want to do it for. All you just need to do is that if you are doing it for YouTube, then you use the YouTube thumbnail size. If you are using doing it for tiktok all you need to do is to go to google and find out the size for tiktok that's the video size for tiktok and then use it for tiktok so this is basically how you are going to do it all right i hope you enjoyed this video if you are new to this youtube channel remember to subscribe to this youtube channel so that you will not miss out on any other interesting updates that i am going to drop now after subscribing to this youtube channel turn on your notification bell so that whenever i drop a new video you'll be among the first set of persons that will be notified and don't forget to like this video drop a comment and share this video to other persons that might need it thank you for watching see you next time